Hello, welcome to Megar's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will review SPY-225 manual mode. Let's get started. To access manual mode, click on the manual mode in the home screen of PowerDB. You will be presented with the manual testing screen. There are three settings to define to test on manual mode. The first one being the requested current. For this example, I'm going to use 500 amps. Then I need to set the mode to inject the current and I have two options to do so. The first one is continuous and the second one is momentary. Let's review the first one, which is continuous. We will just start the injection with the requested current and it will keep that current constant until the breaker trips or the user manually stops the test. The last settings to configure is, is the increment current. If I click the button, I'll get presented with the options from 0 all the way to 20 amps. So I'm going to select 10 for this example. What this setting will control is while injecting the current, if the user does one click of the scroll wheel in the mouse or press the up or down arrow keys in the keyboard, the instrument will increase or decrease the current accordingly. So let's start the injection using the play button. First, the unit will determine which tab is connected to the specimen. Remember to only wire one of the three tabs available in SPY-225. So you can see now the injection is being taking place. I have my timer on the green box and my current indicator in the yellow box. Again, if I do one click of my scroll wheel in my mouse, I'll go up. I'll get the current increase by 10 amps, which is the increment I said before. If I go down, you go back to 500, and it will happen the same if I use the arrow keys in my keyboard. So in simulation, also I'm going to simulate a contact. I'll get my time and the green box. Let's try the momentary mode now. I'm going to go back to 500 amps and the increment will keep it at 10 amps. Now, since we selected momentarily, the unit will inject the current only for a short period of time that is defined in the settings. If you want to know more details on that, please watch the video related to the setting screens of the software. inject 500 amps for five cycles and then wait for me to do the next injection just as we did it with continuous mode by using the scroll wheel in the mouse or the up or down arrows in the keyboard so let's do it with the mouse one click and it will do 510 amps in this case i can continue going up increasing my current until I get a trip from my breaker. You see a message there, if I do the clicks too quick, the unit will ask me to slow down. That's it needs a cool down time between injections, especially when doing high currents. So I'll be increasing the current, but I can also go down if I need to. And stop the injection now. This concludes SPY-225 manual mode. Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any question you may need for your electrical testing.